Pamela Anderson is an icon. Her name alone conjures images of the 90s, a time when she was one of the most recognizable faces on the planet. From her Baywatch days, where she donned the iconic red swimsuit, to her headline-grabbing personal life that kept tabloids busy, she has captivated audiences for decades. Her allure was not just in her looks, but in her ability to stay relevant in an ever-changing entertainment landscape. This year, she returned to the screen in The Last Showgirl, a film that promised a poignant look at ageing, ambition and second chances. Anticipation was high, and fans were eager to see if she could still command the screen. The film's premiere was a star-studded event, with an excited crowd and a palpable buzz in the air. It was clear that many were rooting for Anderson's triumphant return. Could Anderson recapture the magic that made her a star? The film's premise, at least, held promise. It was a story that mirrored her own life in many ways. The film's premise, at least, held promise. It was a story that mirrored her own life in many ways. Anderson plays fading starlet, Danny Wilder, clinging to the remnants of her glory days. The character's struggles and hopes were a reflection of Anderson's own journey in the public eye. When a chance to revive her career emerges, Danny must confront her past and embrace the woman she's become. It's a narrative that resonates with anyone who has faced the challenge of reinvention. It's a familiar narrative, ripe with potential for both drama and redemption. The comeback narrative is a powerful one in Hollywood, often reflecting the real-life struggles of the stars themselves. The comeback narrative is a powerful one in Hollywood, We've seen it with Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler, where his portrayal of a washed-up wrestler earned him critical acclaim and a career resurgence, and Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club, a role that transformed his career and won him an Academy Award. These films tapped into the public's fascination with faded glory and the possibility of reinvention. They showed that even after years away from the spotlight, a powerful performance could reignite a career. Could The Last Showgirl deliver a similar triumph for Pamela Anderson? The audience's reaction and the critical reviews will soon reveal if this comeback story has a happy ending. Unfortunately, The Last Showgirl falters from the outset, leaving viewers with a sense of unfulfilled promise. The script penned by Kate Gersten, lacks the depth and nuance needed to elevate the well-worn tropes of the showbiz drama. Despite her previous successes, Gersten's writing here feels uninspired, as if she was merely going through the motions. The characters are sketched rather than fully realized, and the dialogue often feels stilted and unnatural. Danny Wilder's journey feels predictable and emotionally hollow. Her struggles, while relatable on the surface, are presented in a way that lacks genuine emotional impact. We see her rehearsing, reflecting, and contemplating her choices. But these moments fail to resonate deeply. We're told of her struggles, her regrets, but we never truly feel them. The emotional scenes, though well acted, come across as forced rather than organic. The film tells us about her pain, but doesn't show it in a way that allows the audience to connect on a deeper level. Director Gia Coppola, while demonstrating flashes of visual flair, struggles to find a consistent tone. Her direction is visually appealing at times, with some beautifully composed shots but the overall narrative lacks cohesion. The film's tone shifts abruptly, leaving viewers unsure of what to feel. The film wavers between melodrama and melancholic introspection, never fully committing to either. This indecisiveness creates a disjointed viewing experience, where the audience is left grasping for a clear emotional through-line. 
the contrasting scenes, while visually striking, fail to coalesce into a unified whole. This uncertainty leaves the audience feeling emotionally unmoored, unsure how to connect with the characters or their struggles. The film's inability to settle on a consistent tone or emotional direction makes it difficult for viewers to invest in the story. The pacing is uneven, with moments of genuine intrigue interspersed with scenes that drag and feel unnecessary. The editing, while competent, fails to create a rhythm that keeps the audience engaged throughout. Some scenes linger too long, while others are cut short, disrupting the flow of the narrative. The film feels overlong at times, its 100-minute runtime stretching what should be a tight, emotionally resonant story. The extended runtime exacerbates the pacing issues, making the film feel like a slog rather than a compelling drama. Ultimately, The Last Showgirl feels like a missed opportunity, a film with a promising premise that fails to deliver on its potential. Despite the talent involved, the film's lack of emotional depth, inconsistent tone and pacing issues prevent it from becoming the poignant, engaging story it aims to be. It's a reminder that even with all the right elements, execution is key to creating a truly memorable film. Pamela Anderson, to her credit, commits to the role of Danny Wilder. She embodies the character's vulnerability and desperation with a raw honesty that is at times affecting. However, the script gives her little to work with. Danny Wilder remains a frustratingly one-dimensional character, defined solely by her past glories and present struggles. Anderson's performance lacks the range and depth needed to elevate the material. We see glimpses of the charisma that made her a star, but they are fleeting. Too often, she relies on familiar mannerisms and a limited emotional palette. The spark that once ignited the screen is noticeably absent. The film's attempts to draw parallels between Anlel's between Anderson's own life and Danny Wilder's experiences feel heavy-handed and exploitative. Instead of adding layers to the character, they serve as a constant reminder of the real-life persona overshadowing the fictional one. Section 4. Beyond the Headliner a supporting cast adrift. The supporting cast of The Last Showgirl fares no better. Despite the efforts of a talented ensemble, the characters surrounding Danny Wilder remain underdeveloped and forgettable. They serve as mere plot devices, existing solely to propel Danny's journey forward. The film hints at potentially interesting relationships a former lover grappling with his own faded glory, a young dancer seeking guidance and inspiration. But these threads are left unexplored. The result is a cast of talented actors stranded in a narrative that gives them little to do and even less to say. The lack of chemistry between Anderson and her co-stars further hinders the film's emotional impact. The relationships feel forced and unconvincing, lacking the authenticity needed to ground the story in any semblance of reality. Section 5 Fleeting Glimmers – Searching for Redemption in the Details While The Last Showgirl stumbles in its narrative and performances, there are fleeting moments of redemption to be found in its technical aspects. The film, despite its many flaws, 